Hey guys, it's Ethan here with EG4 Application Support. Today I'm going to be running you through a quick commissioning guide for two EG4 6000 EX 48 HV inverters in parallel paired with EG4 server rack batteries. All right, so at this point you should have your solar and battery power connected and your AC output wires ran. Now we're going to have to set the inverters up for parallel operation. On your host inverter, you'll need to enter the settings menu. To do that, press and hold the enter button for three seconds. Now we need to go down to setting 28. Setting 28 is only available when the inverter is in standby and is used to set the AC output mode. To put the inverter in standby, just tap the on and off power switch. Now we need to press enter and we need to put it in parallel. This is already in parallel, so we're good to go. Now we need to repeat these steps for the next inverter. All right, so for our slave inverter, we're gonna hold the enter key and go into the settings. Go back down to 28. And then once there, click our power button to put us in standby. We press enter, and now you could select what you wanted to select. Again, we're gonna be on parallel, P-A-L, and lock it into place with enter. Now that we have our inverters in parallel, we need to get our batteries communicating with them. First step is to set the dip switch configuration for the master battery. For the LifePower 4s, that configuration is down, 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 down. For the EG4 LLs, it's down, 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 up. Since we have the life power batteries connected, our top master battery will be all down for inverter communication. Now we need to set all the dip switches in order for the rest of the battery bank. All right, after that, it's important to note that you must do a power cycle on the battery for this to take effect. All right, now all the batteries have the correct address and we need to network them together. Using the one foot jumper cables provided, we're gonna connect to the top right port and bring it down to the top left port of the next battery in the stack. Then you use that open port on the second battery, connect it to the left port on the next battery in the stack. You'll continue doing this until you have all batteries linked together through the one foot communication cables. So now we've successfully set the addresses for our battery bank and networked them together. The next step is to plug in the communication cable provided with your EG4 inverter into your master battery. You need to look at the side that has one and two pins being used and that'll go into the open port on your life power battery for the eg4 ll this will go into the rs485 port next to the battery com ports the other side of the communication cable that uses pins three and four will need to plug in to the far left communication port on the inverter this is labeled by a battery symbol on the front display panel now we need to set our battery profile for our host inverter. To do this, enter your settings menu and go down to setting 14. We press enter to make the middle parameter blink. And for our host inverter, this will need to be set to EG4. We use the arrow key and then you press enter to lock that in place. And now we got to set the battery profile for our slave inverter. All right, so for the slave inverter, you're going to hold the enter key, go into your settings, go down to that setting 14, 
And for the slave, we're going to want to put this on use. All right, you see it's on use. Then you press enter to lock that in. And now you are communicating. Now we have a fully commissioned 12 kilowatt solar inverter system. If you have any more questions, please reach out to Signature Solar Support page. Thank you for joining us, and we hope to see you soon.